I've been using state of mind in every leadership meeting that I am the meeting owner for over 15 years. We began and ended the meetings with state of mind. And when we had decision making on the agenda, then I would call out a separate time for a state of mind at the end of those sessions. And the reason I did that is the decisions that you get during times where the state of mind uh, is either plus or minus or scattered is a different, potentially a different quality decision than you would have gotten had the state of mind as a team been better. So uh, from a leadership perspective, if you show and share who you are authentically and how you're feeling authentically, it will over time bring the team to that point. They will learn to hold each other accountable and those outliers will get answered before the team really leaves the room.